90 Day Fiancé is a show which is all about the love and goodness of relationships, but there are also a number of uncomfortable moments that have become trademark. Now you may think that love is a simple and that there's no limit to the awkwardness when people meet over the internet and try to get to know one another. Well, if you thought dating was hard on Tinder, then try this. 90 Day Fiancé has been serving us with insane moments since its inception in 2014. Although a number of people have ended up with interesting stories on the show, the majority of people involved have let us see some of the worst sides to love. Hello and welcome back to Splash. Today we are going to be talking about 5 insane 90 day fiancé moments. But before we get on to that, go ahead and like and subscribe if you haven't already. It helps us out a lot. Also, make sure that you are watching until number 1 to find out the weirdest things that these couples have done during their time on the show. You'll be absolutely shocked once you find out. Number 5. Paul wears a condom to go swimming with Korean. Stick with this show and you're set to have some of the weirdest things about people. Well, Paul's confession of being a convicted arsonist wasn't the most awkward thing to come between the couple. Surely the worst was yet to come and no one expected what really happened next. In between donning a bulletproof vest to walk down the streets of Korean's hometown and arguing strictly through a translation phone app, Paul still has time to make the general masses uncomfortable when he slips on a condom to go swimming with her. In certain clips displayed, Paul admits that he wants to have sex with Kareen but insists on an STD and pregnancy test before anything can happen between the pair. I want Kareeny to take an STD and pregnancy test before we get physical, but I want us to have some fun together before I bring that up. Despite all of this, the beautiful lady still decides to go swimming with her fiancé. Green happily jumps into the water for a swim while Paul, acting on advice from his travel doctor, feels the need for protection before getting into the pool. He then shows the cameras the sheath he's fashioned to protect his member from parasites, which is actually a semi-valid concern according to the CDC. Number 4. Luis Accuses Molly of Witchcraft it all seemed to be the start of an unlikely love affair when Luis and Molly first started on the show. There were a lot of notable differences between the pair, but their love promised to hold strong till it couldn't. When Molly Hopkins brought home her brand new fiancé, Luis Mendez, things pretty much imploded right there from the start. A lot of reasons contribute to this. First, there's a serious age difference. The awkward conversation where Luis basically encourages Molly's teen daughter to be sexually active. You want to him just for love? No marriage, no, not just for sleep with him, just for. Oh, what? <laughs> yes. Oh my God. And the fact that this 90 day fiance couple was actually secretly married the entire time. To add salt to injury, Luis had a very serious argument with Molly. This argument is quick to delve into religious matters, and it doesn't take too long before things get sensitive between the pair. Louise claims Molly was not comprehensible and has mixed too many religion totems around the house. He even goes further to state that she has no Bible, but rather a Buddha. Louise then starts asking Molly if she knows about witchcraft. Number 3. Muhammad and Danielle's Uncomfortable Relationship When taking a look at this couple, it's easy to wonder how things got bad so fast. Muhammad and Danielle started off well and things were looking up for the couple. Things turned sour almost immediately when things started to get serious for them. Suddenly, this man wanted nothing to do with his beloved fiance anymore. He had done some pretty bad stuff to her and apparently there were no signs of things getting any better. According to Radar Online, the Ohio resident claimed it in her annulment papers that Muhammad had multiple affairs and used a number of Facebook pages to solicit money from various women. Despite all of his bad behavior, which he denies, there is one rumor he didn't even bother squashing. He was not attracted to his wife. But why? While the show ran, it became clear to fans that Muhammad is disgusted by Danielle. He doesn't even want to kiss her at their wedding, and she claims they are only consummated their marriage once, three months after tying the knot. We had sex before we got wife. married and when we were when I seen you and Dover. Number two, Chantel and Pedro Family Drama. Somehow, Chantel Everett and Pedro Jimeno managed to out-awkward Jesse and Darcy in the 90 Day Fiancé family dinner department. Their meal turns into an all-out brawl, but tensions are already uncomfortably high after Chantel's parents admit that they hired a private investigator to look into whether or not Pedro's family were body traffickers who harvested their daughter for a green card. Now, Obviously, Pedro is less than thrilled and things quickly devolve when his sister Nicole comes to visit. 
The relationship between the pair had been strained before this dinner, but things got even worse when everyone was present. Chantel's parents reveal that they want to get to the bottom of Nicole's motives to take advantage of their daughter. Within a few minutes, the two sister-in-laws are shouting at one another, and Chantel's brother had thrown a punch at his brother-in-law, Pedro. At this point, dinner starts to resemble a WWE Battle Royale that ends with Chantel sobbing in a corner. What you <laughs> talking about? Number one, Anfisa and Jorge. Anfisa might just be the hero of 90 Day Fiance, at least according to Reddit. You can't deny it, the Russian bread star has always been transparent about her intentions with Jorge. George and I met online. George said that he was rich, so I responded. But George didn't deliver on his promises to buy me nice things. Famed YouTubers H3H3 even labeled their honest gold digger. Indeed, she has no qualms about telling Jorge that she hates being married to him, which is pretty awkward in and of itself, because his smile makes it seem like that's actually an improvement from how she usually feels. Still, none of the couple's interactions have been more uncomfortable than one excruciatingly long silence during the show's 2016 tell-all special. Earlier that season, Anfisa scratches the word idiot into the driver's side door of Jorge's car, and even though she has a lot of time to reflect before the tell-all, it doesn't appear like she achieved any clarity. The silence that launched millions of cringes across America occurred when Anfisa is asked if she regrets keying her husband's car. She quickly replies no. After the host asks her why she doesn't regret the action, the reality star simply stares at the cameras as it pans to her co-stars for what feels like the longest stretch of silence in the history of television. Did you regret etching the word idiot into no. the car? Why not? Ouch, that kind of silence must really hurt. Well everyone, I hope you enjoyed it. While we are here, go ahead and click the links above to check out some of our other awesome videos. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. See you in the next video.